working to get results tonight for those of you who hate finding one of these on your car. Yes, all of us know a boot is annoying and also expensive, but getting one in Atlanta will cost you at least 75 bucks. That's a bargain though, compared to what a truck driver had to pay to get his boot off. CBS 46's Adam Murphy tells us it cost that trucker hundreds of dollars. Adam, how did the booting company really get away with a price that large? Well, Brittany, here's the deal. Booting regulations can vary from place to place. And here in Union City, come over, look at this sign right here. They can charge you $500 a day for a boot. Time is money for truck driver Corey Jones. He's always on the go in his big rig and rarely gets a break. This right here was like a gut punch and I wasn't expecting it. A few months ago, Jones pulled into the Shannon Crossing Shopping Center on Jonesboro Road to run a couple of errands. So I went into the Kroger's and got cash, got my fruit, came out, went and waited in the, uh, the barbershop right there. And next thing you know, I came out a couple hours later. Wow, boot. I was surprised and I was flabbergasted. I was like, what's going on here? Because I didn't feel like I'd done anything wrong. Secure parking enforcement booted him to the tune of $500 claiming he was parked on the property too long. He says right here, truck on property in excess of two hours. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing on the signs that mention anything about a time limit. Not at all. You can see for yourself, there is no mention of a time limit on any of the booting signs. And to top it off, Jones had a receipt from Kroger. I actually uh, talked to the Kroger manager and um, he said that the booting is so aggressive that they booted one of his employees so I contacted the booting business to get their side of the story. Would you like to come out here and be on camera? I'd love to have you on camera. And you refuse. OK, so there we go. Not only did the manager not want to discuss it on camera, he wouldn't give us his name, leaving Jones with nowhere to turn. $500 to me is a payment on my car. Uh, $500 to me is uh, grocery for uh, a couple of weeks for my children. $500 to me is a lot. And the booting company said they would review Jones's case as long as he provides his travel log. They want to know how long he was here. He says he shouldn't have to do that. He has a receipt from the store he shopped in. His next route, take the legal road. We're live in Union City tonight. Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News. Working to get results. Adam, thank you. Let's break down the state rules here. Georgia leaves it up to cities and counties to regulate booting. Most counties in Metro Atlanta ban it. Individual cities are still free to decide whether to allow booting. For example, five cities in Fulton County do. The price to remove a boot depends on where you are. In Roswell, it's $35. In Union City, it can be up to $500. The fees depend on the size of your vehicle as well. College Park and East Point have outlawed booting altogether. Booting is essentially a Wild West situation in Fulton County's remaining cities, though. None have ordinances that allow or ban booting.